Okay, well, hi, my name is Anthony Pajiski. Um, I'm going to be talking about how to build a support network, um, and it's aimed at cycle of development stage three plus. Okay, so first of all, the first bit that we really want to cover is um, every single business in the world uses a support network of some form to be able to develop uh, their people within their organization. So our business and any other business in the world, especially sales based, is no different. The way it will generally work is you, you can go to seminars, business meetings, you people swap cards, what they do, etc. Especially based around the COD and obviously in the sales environment, it's very, very specific towards their training purposes. So if someone needs something specifically training in the sales process, whether that be talking to customers, building relationships, how to present a product, it's very, very easy to be able to specifically train that by using a support network and obviously being able to expand that network so you can get different avenues of obviously people giving you information. Um, I think for me, the, the, the sales industry is absolutely one of the businesses that encourages people to, um, or encourages people to have a higher performance level amongst peers. Um, something that I talk about quite a lot is if you were to go into a lot of other companies, the number one performer within those companies won't necessarily be able to, or won't necessarily want to, train you specifically on how to be the top performing person and obviously the reason for it is obviously um, they, they don't want to maybe give up their perks their recognition etc their achievement levels whereas especially based around this business is people want you to do better people want you to do well there's not just a vested interest in it but there's actually a, a, a want for people to do better in this business whether it be example setting whether it be new stories recognition so my first big tip is always 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 try and build a huge support network you will not always necessarily need everybody at every single stage of your business to be able to give you information but at some point throughout your career there will absolutely be someone who is specific to what you need at that particular time to be able to for you to develop your business develop your career develop your sales whatever it might be um, again i think one of the largest parts of of actual building a network is again based around other businesses so um england back in 2003 won the won the rugby world cup and one of the biggest parts of, of the actual training process, it wasn't actually just the matches they played throughout the World Cup where they played really, really well. It was all the preparation and the build-up and obviously the, the, the planning and the organisation beforehand. One of the biggest things Clive Woodward, who was the manager at that, that particular time, was talking about, spoke a lot about how the England rugby team went and spent a lot of time with the Marines um, and went and learned how to actually build certain parts of their, their, their organisation, I guess. It's not something that you would necessarily put together. You wouldn't necessarily put together a rugby team and, and, and the Marines and go, they can learn from one another. Um, but during some of the training sessions, one of the Marine sergeants turned around to Clive Woodward and turned around and went, um, there are people on your team that I would not go into battle with. And the sheer reason was because of the, the trust, the discipline, um, there's people that they didn't believe would necessarily have their back. One of Clive Woodward's biggest um, sort of uh, factors, I guess, was he wanted huge amounts of teamwork. He wanted people trusting each other when they're on the pitch. He wanted people knowing that someone else will be doing the job to their best capability. And he couldn't think of a better place to go than obviously to the, to the Marines to be able to do that. It's obviously not why the World Cup was won, but it's absolutely a huge factor in being able to develop a network and go and train or go and learn from other people so you can adapt and build and obviously achieve more within your business. Um, again, if someone's a, a, um, a startup company, again, if you, look at, if, if you look around the country, there's people starting up companies all the time. Most people will start do startup companies in a trade or in a um, industry that they're comfortable with and already know. However, most people don't know necessarily how to run businesses or run a business within that industry or that sector. Again, whether that be um, whether that be in internet based businesses, whether it be in any other form of business, they have to be able to learn to be able to develop that business um, and obviously become very, very successful. So, again, there's huge amounts of um, money, I guess, and there's huge amounts of sort of focus on public speaking seminars. OK, going to seminars to develop yourself um, audio books, all that sort of stuff. The cycle of development um, in its purest format is a networking format. It's, it's a way of being able to go, I need to get educated, I need to get better at a specific um, subject or something specific or relevant to me so I can go and learn it. Yes, it's off the internet. It's not necessarily face to face with someone who can then teach you their experiences, but it's absolutely a networking format where you can get better um, at those specific topics or whatever it might be that you need to learn. 
Um, so in its absolute purest format, this topic's perfect for the cycle of development because it's actually what the cycle of development is all about. The last couple of points, really, really quickly, um, is if you want to become successful, it's skills that pay the bills. Okay, You need to be extremely good at whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. Very few people can do what they want to achieve by themselves without any support or without any form of network or people being able to guide them and direct them. Um, so again, networking is a massive way of being able to pull people in and obviously help you develop, be able to educate you, be able to criticize you, be able to provide feedback, anything in its smallest format. And again, if you take internet websites, if you take small businesses, will never necessarily, um, or in the majority of instances, are never successful straight away. And the reason being is because there's flaws that maybe people can't see. There's certain things that aren't working that if you're fully immersed in that business at that particular time, you can't necessarily see where the negatives are, the flaws are, whatever it might be. Sometimes it takes an objective point of view for someone to be able to come in and give you some criticism or some feedback so you can obviously develop um, and obviously be able to make that business slightly more successful. Um, the last point is, is Networking is completely useless unless you apply the information that you're taught. Okay, so you might be watching um, videos on the cycle of development, you might be downloading topics, you might be going to seminars, you might be listening to people um, via the internet on how to learn parts of your business, but if you don't then go and apply what you're learning, there is no point to actually starting the networking process in the first place. Because all you're doing is you're just creating a library of information that's never going to be used. At the end of the day, to become successful in any business, it's applying what stuff you've been taught, it's applying um, the network that you've been using, and it's always about making decisions and then applying the stuff that's been learned. Sometimes it will work to great effect and sometimes not necessarily. But even if it doesn't work, it means you know you don't need to use that in the future or it might be relevant further on in the future. But absolutely start applying the stuff that you learn because you never know, it might make you very, very successful.